What is up everybody? My name is Bright Life. This is my fancy vest and this is my mustache? Sort of? It's growing in. Don't make fun of it. And today we're going to be talking about why I think Lord of the Rings Online is worth your time by telling you how I think it's a lot different than all the other MMOs out there. Let's jump into it. Now I get it, saying that this MMO isn't like other MMOs is just like when we were back in high school and we met that girl and she was like, I'm not like other girls. And then you start dating her and she swears she's not like other girls and then she starts to talk like all the other girls and all that stuff. And then she says that she can drive your car because she totally has her license even though she won't show it to you. And then she crashes your 1998 Mustang that you love with the convertible even though it leaks a little bit of oil and you love it. And I've never forgiven you, Leanne. Anyway, isn't it so funny when you play an MMO and you're like, it's gonna be different than all the other ones and it isn't? Well, you know what? I may be smoking the copium, but I really do think that Lord of the Rings Online has some incredible, incredible systems and incredible culture over and around the entire game that I think you should consider checking out. And it really comes in what Lord of the Rings Online decides to major in as an MMO and minor in as an MMO. Now, every MMO actually has the qualities of what I'm talking about, but it's where they choose to emphasize their resources. It's where they choose to push you as a player that really shifts the way that I think this MMO treats you as a player. And it shifts the way that I think you can really enjoy this MMO. So let's jump into what I think all of the other MMOs tend to do. Now, most other MMOs will major in player progression and min-maxing that end game content. What they do is they, of course, get you to end game pretty quickly. That's a, that's a big staple of these games is how can we make it faster? We level squish or we even give out boosts. We give easy ways to get to end game very quickly. And then once you're there, the whole point of the game, the way to really win the game is to become the most powerful player. If you play World of Warcraft like I do, which again, I love, I'm not knocking in any way. When you get to end game, what are you supposed to do? Well, you're supposed to run your daily quests to build your player power up and then you're supposed to get into your raid gear level so that you can run with your guild and as you start running with your guild it's really fun because then you can of course progress from regular dungeons to heroic dungeons and raids to mythic dungeon raids and those are really good things but that's really the point of the game and everything really points you in that direction all of the progression systems are baked into the game very heavily and it's really what the game majors on and of course it really does major in this min maxing the end game content end game content content is really where these MMOs find their stride. In fact, you've probably heard a lot of players say when they talk about MMOs that they play, they talk about how kind of the journey to end game is the intro, that one to 60, one to max level, but the end game is where you really start playing the MMO, right? How many times have you gotten to max level in an MMORPG and gone, okay, thank God I can finally start playing the game now, right? Like that's, and again, that's not a bad thing. I don't want to knock anybody on that. I try to be a very positive channel and I really enjoy games like that. But really, that's what they major on. Where actually, I would say that Lord of the Rings Online comes across as very, very different. Because Lord of the Rings Online majors in immersion and relaxation. And it really minors in that player power and end game progression. You, I think, as a player, will not feel like you've started playing the game at max level. You will feel like you've started playing the game at somewhere around level 10 to 15. That's when you realize that this game is about immersion. In fact, I myself playing this game, when I first got into it, I thought, man, this is so much to level. There's so many zones. How am I actually gonna get through this? I just wanna give it a shot. But as I got to level 10 and 15, 20, I started having this magical moment of going, you know what, this game is really about the experience of getting to max level. It's about relaxing at the end of the day and just enjoying Middle Earth. And that's what this game majors in. And it does it really, really well. The lore systems are built so fantastically. The side quests that you can read through in the text and the lore behind those are absolutely wonderful. And it's not a just click through all the quests and just get to the next one. It really is take a slow down and just enjoy the ride and the experience. It really majors in immersion. And if you are a Tolkien fan and you have not played at least a little bit of this game and given it a chance, you really, really should. It's a fantastic game that really differentiates itself, even its systems from other games. This game really focuses on you just enjoying the leveling up process as opposed to just trying to rush you to end game and get there. And 
I actually find that really refreshing. As someone who's only ever really played an MMO one way, which is let's just beast my way up and then get myself really quickly geared, I found myself just doing chores and chores. And this one, man, just enjoying the questing is a really enjoyable and fun experience. And I wanna invite you to play it with me. It's actually been such a great time. And not only that, the community understands this engagement and they really lean into it. They lean into this idea that we're immersed in a world together. I can't tell you how many nerdy Tolkien conversations I've had with players in this game, and it's been really, really fun, and it's one of the ways that I think that Lord of the Rings Online isn't like other MMOs. Now, of course, there's cash shops in this game, just like other ones, and there are things that I'd like to change, but I really do think this MMO is worth your time, especially if you're a Tolkien fan, and if you love being immersed in a world. I'll tell you what this game is like. For me, I went to a cabin up in the mountains around a year ago, and I remember that there was this moment where my kids were asleep in bed, the whole family was down, and I turned on the fire in the fireplace, it was snowing outside, and I had my red wine at the end of the day, and I had Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring open, and I was sitting in front of the fire, snow falling outside with red wine in my hand, and I was like, this is a perfect moment. It's so, so good. And it's a perfect moment for what it is. Because if I wanted to just relax and hang out, this is exactly what I'd want to be doing. But of course, if you're looking for something different, like if you were saying, hey, I want to be out there adventuring and skiing and clubbing and all that stuff, of course, that moment's not what you're looking for. But for so many of us gamers, we're really looking for a game where we can just immerse ourselves in the world, really just relax and have fun. And I think that's what this game is for me. It's sitting in the comfy chair in front of the fire with that red wine in your hand, just enjoying the progress of the game, enjoying what this world, what the developers have put together. And I've been really, really impressed with it so far. I'm looking forward to, of course, playing more and getting to end game and playing those systems. But from what people tell me, that's really what the game is all about. Now, I want to tell you one other thing that I think really shines through about this game in a way that is different than others. And that is in the fact that this game lets you walk along your favorite story in the world, which I think for most of us, you included, right? You have to be, is Lord of the Rings. It's a great story, whether you're a fan of the movies or the books. This game allows you to quest alongside the Fellowship as they make their way to Mount Doom. And it sounds so interesting because at first you're kind of like, okay, dude, really? A shoehorned in story around the Fellowship of the Ring and Two Towers and Return of the King? Is that really what you're selling here? And actually, yes, but it doesn't feel shoehorned. And that's what's been so impressive to me is that I've played games like this, just like you have, where you know they try to shoehorn you into a movie as the hero of the story. Um, but Turbine did such a great job, and Sanding Stone has done such a great job by extension, in not making you the primary hero of the story. You are just an average everyday citizen that's kind of helping along as the fellowship does their great quest. And that's really cool because of course eventually you grow in power to where you become the champion and people know you and all that stuff. But it's a really cool thing that you get to come alongside and you're not immediately the hero of Azeroth. You are just this random hobbit that's questing through the Shire and delivering mail and trying to kill some boars. I mean that's really cool. And then as you go you get to interact with the fellowship and if you're a fan of the books, if you're a fan of the movies, you're going to in interact with things in the world that remind you of that one love that you've had for Lord of the Rings for so long. And don't you just want to go watch the movies right now? I think I might after this. But it really is a cool experience, and it's why I think that Lord of the Rings isn't just like every other MMO out there. Well, friends, that's my short video on why I think that Lord of the Rings Online is not like every other MMO out there. I think other MMOs have the relaxation, they have the immersion, but this game really leans into that idea idea and says just immerse yourself in this world and I would argue to me it does it better than any other MMO that I've played and there are other fantastic MMOs for other fantastic reasons but if you're looking for a game where you can immerse yourself into the lore of Lord of the Rings immerse yourself into a beautiful world and just really enjoy the experience and just get to relax at the end of the day this is a great game for that and I find myself off YouTube time, off streaming time, just jumping into the world and just questing for a little bit and it really calms me down at the end of the day and if you need that for your mental health or just because you've had a busy week, I hope that you really get to enjoy Lord of the Rings Online. If you're looking for a community and trying to get started, I'm over on Arkenstone. Be sure to send me a quick whisper. It's Bright Life TTV. Send me a whisper, join the kinship. We've got a great Discord going. It'd be a great time to have you. I would loved getting to know you guys in the server but I'd love to hear what you you guys think? Leave it in the comments below. Do you think that Lord of the Rings Online is just another MMORPG or is it something different and something special to you? Be sure to be nice in the comments. Remember, some people love this game and some people love other games. We're not going to bash one another on that, but I would love to hear your opinions. I read every single one of those comments. 
If you like videos like this, leave me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you really like it and want to see more. It really motivates me to make more videos like this. But as always, I want you to know two things. You are more loved than you know, and you are so much more valuable than you realize. I hope you have an incredible day, friends, and I will see you in the next one. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave it a like. It's totally free to do. Subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, I'm live on Twitch over at twitch.tv slash bright life community. We're a community of positive and uplifting gamers. Come find a friend to raid with, grab loot with, and just enjoy life together with. Hope you have an awesome day. Be blessed and you are so loved and so valuable.